I haven't met anybody that is morally okay with the murder of George Floyd, but I have met lots of people who are complacent in his murder. And at this point, silence is violence and neutrality is useless. So we all need to stand up. I'm gonna speak for a lot of um, African Americans here. I think the purpose um, is to acknowledge with police brutality what's going on and the injustices that have come out of police brutality. And we wanna make that known and something just basically has to be done. We need something done. 493 plus lives since 2010 have actually been lost African Americans, excuse me, have been have lost their lives to police brutality, and we just wanted to end. They shouldn't be treated that way. They're normal people. They don't treat Caucasian people that way. So I feel as though they shouldn't be treating black men or black women that way. So our overall solution to this is to acknowledge that police brutality does exist and to basically eliminate it. I was actually very surprised at the protesting um, because there was a lot of silence on social media from a lot of Shadron residents, and that could be to. You know, it's an old town, people don't really use social media. Um, but I was actually surprised, so I feel like it, it was a good outcome. If two people would have showed up, we would have still been grateful as a black community because I feel like for me, it's very exciting for people to be on my side and see that this is an injustice. Protesting works to me. So people here are gonna post this on their social media and then they're going, people from other small towns are gonna see that this happened in a small town and know that they can do it as well. Small towns uh, across the country uh, tend to stay silent anytime there's issues in our uh, world, in our country, and there's not gonna be change until all of us start screaming for it. And so that's what we're starting to do today. Small conservative towns like our own uh, tend to stay quiet when there's racism and discrimination going on in our country. And honestly, we're just getting sick of it. We really are. So today's just us coming out here to show Shadron that we're gonna stand with the black communities in our country and just black lives matter. I grew up here and there was just a lot of normalization of racism, like saying slurs, stuff like that. And it was always put as a joke. And then I moved to a bigger city and it wasn't as normal. And in fact, people would get in trouble for it. So that opened my eyes a lot. And I just want to fight for people who need it as well as my own community in the LGBT. I'm here to just to uh, engage with the other people that are here. Um, I think it's important that uh, we're respectful of people's rights to um, to talk about what their concerns are with society and issues within society. And, and so I want to make sure that those rights are protected. Um, I think it's very important that people do this, but at the same time that we do it peacefully. So, uh, so whatever I can do to help them, and I, I think it's really important that, that we are able to get out of our patrol cars and get out and shake hands and talk to people. We don't want people to be afraid of us. Uh, I know that uh, some people are, but um, we're no different than anybody else. Uh, you know, you're not my enemy and I'm not your enemy. So. I had people come up to me and say, in Shadron, really? This isn't the city. There's no point in doing it here. This doesn't happen here. Not only are grassroots movements important and individual acts important, but small towns need to be involved in these kinds of things because racism still exists in small towns.